But first, a BBC documentary tonight looks at people who are struggling to keep their heads above water amid rising debts. It's called The Debt Saviours, and it features the work of the Bradford-based charity Christians Against Poverty. In a moment, we'll speak to the charity's founder, John Kirkby, and also Gareth Thompson, who originally came to it seeking help for debt problems himself and is now its Bradford Centre manager. But first, let's get a flavour of tonight's programme. This is Holly, who grew up in care and has been in debt all of her young life. I just think, what, it, what, what, what would it have been like? What would life have been like if uh, both my parents were still here? Would I be where I am today? Would I be in the debt I am in today? Would I lost contact with family members? So this is what you've got to eat? Yeah. How long has this got last you for? Uh, they said I have to last me till Monday. Four days? <clears throat> yeah. So how much you got to in your bank account to top that up? Nothing. So how long is this going to last? That'll have to last me till Monday. How likely is that? Not very. So you'll go with that electricity? Yeah. That's the best I can do, really. It's really quite upsetting to watch young people having to live like that. And, and sadly, John, yeah. Holly isn't alone, is she? This isn't an isolated incident. Sadly not. Um, through our 600 centres and 1,000 frontline workers and 300 staff in Bradford, um, I don't want to use the word overwhelmed. We help as many people as we can, as fast as we can, as often as we can. But the scale of the need is, is a little bit overwhelming. However, with continued growth and being able to offer the services we do, we do see incredible, as you'll see on the documentary tonight, mm. Holly's life and other lives can be turned around. So there is a lot of hope involved in the, you know, in the challenges that these young people face. So there's good news for Holly. Would you say that um, demand is, is increasing? Are you busier than ever? I'd say there's an increase in what we would call the complexities of the problems. Um, the prevalence of mental health difficult is enormous and we work amongst the most vulnerable as you'll see on the documentary tonight. Mm. So we're seeing much more complex cases where we're having to put even more resources into each of the families and individuals to give them the very best chance they have of seeing themselves become debt free and then through our other services through working with long-term unemployed and people with dependencies and addictions kind of work their way out to the hope that we believe is there for everyone. But you're not just going in as somebody who's try trying to help, you're going in with personal experience. I know you've yeah. had it John. Yeah. Gareth, you particularly have had it, haven't you? You, yeah. you were badly in debt. How is your experience helping those who you're trying to help now? So yeah, I grew up in a, pretty much a broken home. I was homeless at 15, no uh, money management skills, never learned how to run a home, could never keep a job down, racked up a bunch of debt, had a failed marriage underneath me, unemployed, depressed. That was my situation before CAP came and helped me and, and they brought me through. And so it, when I'm sitting with a client now across the couch from them similar to this and they're telling me where they're hiding their letters, yeah, that's the I same place. I just wonder how it works. Mm. So if somebody owns, say, £9,000 yeah. and you do a deal to make them pay back just a few pounds a month, yeah. when is the debt ever actually paid off? Well, there's two ways. First of all, if a person has enough disposable income for their debts to be repaid over a reasonable period, perhaps two, three or four years, then they'll have a debt management plan and they'll be paying a proportion of their debt. We negotiate with creditors to get interest reduced and stopped. But also, there are a large number of people where there is absolutely no way they could possibly pay their debts back and that's where we through our very uh, insolvency service give people access to becoming debt free through the things that are available but because of their isolation and vulnerability they've no access to that again our staff in Bradford work tirelessly to give people the options to get themselves out of debt and every single working day we see between 10 and 11 individuals or families going debt free so there is light at the end of the tunnel we just guide people and help them through that journey. And that must be a wonderful feeling to be debt free after all, all oh, of that. Um, yeah. Gareth, how is Christians Against Poverty different from any other debt agency, if you like? I think the thing that makes us stand out is that we partner with local churches, that we are bringing people into community, that we're there not just as one person over the phone or online, actually we're coming with a team of volunteers, we're coming with compassion, you know, we're sitting across the couch from them knowing the situation that they're in and we work with them for so long and on the ground with them that that really puts us apart and our Christian faith is an element of that too, you know, we're able to pray with people and sometimes that really just helps lift, lift the air and the mood and give people hope and that's what we're about, just bringing hope to people. Well, we wish you all the luck. Just remind us, what time is it on tonight? Nine o'clock BBC Two. Nine o'clock BBC Two, thank you. Thank you. Now let's